one of the things that I like to do is to make my adapters ahead of time in different colors. It makes it a little bit easier when I might get backed up or busy with orders. I already have this part taken care of. So today I decided that I was going to make some adapters and I thought I would do a video on it. I thought it would be a good idea. Um, and then at the end of the video I have um, a giveaway to announce. I do make my adapters in two different sizes, in 5 inch and 6 inch. This is one side of the adapter. It's got the buckle on it and then it's got the square ring and the D ring. And this is the other side of the buckle that go. sorry, the other side, uh, this is the other side of the um, adapter that goes through the buckle. I just haven't put the holes in it yet. All the supplies that I use today, I will definitely leave in the description box below for you guys. Um, the bio theme that I get, I cannot for the life of me for some reason remember the place that I get it, uh, the name of it, but I will leave their link below. Um, they have all kinds of colors and um, they have all different kinds of sizes and then all different kinds of types of bio theme. I just get the regular bio theme. Um, I do have different sizes, uh, but my adapters I make um, are made with three-fourths of an inch uh, wide, and I have a buckle that is three-fourths, and my square rings are three-fourths. The buckle, the square rings, and the D-ring, I get all of these on Amazon. And then I have my Chicago screws that I use. I like to use these Chicago screws. I get them on eBay and they have a small design on the um, cap of the uh, Chicago screw. And I think it's pretty. So I like to use these ones. I try to get the, as many as I can when I order them. And I also am going to be working with this guy right here. This guy right here is a um, punch and it's stronger than a leather punch. I did get this on Amazon. I can't remember what it's called but like I said I promise to leave all the information below. Um, it is heavier and um, this seems to work the best that I've found so far. It comes with many different uh, sizes of punches that you can use. Um, for my biothene adapters, I use two different punches. I use the punch for the Chicago screw because it's a larger punch. And then I use a different punch for the buckle the prong for the buckle to go through. I also like to make two different size adapters. I like to make a 5 inch adapter and a 6 inch adapter and I do make them in advance. It's just easier that way. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make the 6 inch adapter and you're going to need two pieces of biothene, one at eight inches and the other at six and a half inches. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to um, make our holes and we're going to start with the eight inch biothene first and you're going to want to make a hole uh, about a half an inch into the biothene from the one end and you want to try and get it into the middle as much as possible. If you are using this tool you can see through the side where your um, biothene is and where the punch is going to be landing. This tool did come with a guard that measured, but because I use three different types of or three different sizes of biothene, it was just in, in my way, so I just took it off. So, like I said, you want to go a half an inch in from the end of your 8 inch um, biothene and you just want to measure that out the best you can in the middle
I know it's very difficult to see where the punch is coming down, but it is in the middle of the biothene, right where I want to put it. So I'm just going to make that hole, and all you have to do is press kind of hard. And um, like I said, this machine is a little bit heavy, but it makes a really nice hole. So now you're going to fold your biothene over. And you want to go about an inch and a quarter from the end of your biothene to where your fold is. And what you're going to do is just mark that with a pen. And now you have a mark which will help make that second hole. You, like I said, you can see, I know it was hard on the camera, but you can see where your punch is going to go. And you can put this piece to the side, and we'll start on this one. So for this piece of biothene, this is your six and a half inch, and you are going to make a hole on both sides a half an inch in. So instead of just doing the one side like you did before, you're going to do it on both sides. On one of the sides, it doesn't matter which one, on one of the sides you are going to make a second hole and you are going to go, you're going to make that hole right around the um, inch mark from your first hole. So if you were measuring from the edge it would be an inch and a, a half you would make your next hole. And you want it to be the same in the middle of the biothene. So your biothene strip, the six and a half inch, should look something like this. You have one hole on one side and then you have the two on the other side. After you got your two holes done, now we're going to um, do what we did before with the other um, piece of biothene, how we folded it over. If you're new at doing this, you might want to take your hardware pieces that you're going to be using and put them on and then fold it over. That will help guide you to uh, make sure that all of your hardware fits in. Just in case your holes are off for some reason, this will help guide you and you'll be able to make sure that everything will fit. You also, what I like to do is also double check this hole, make sure that this can also go through. Okay. So I will make marks now. I will, I will make marks now through those holes to help guide me to make the proper holes and where I need to do them. After I make those two holes, I'm just going to line them up one more time and then I'm going to fold over the other end. I'll fold over the other end. and mark for another hole. Whoops. And then make a punch right there. So now you have two holes at the top, then another two holes in the middle, one hole at the top over here, and another hole right there. So you have a total of six holes in this um, six and a half inch biothene. Uh, on the eight inch, you have just the two holes. So now we can put on the hardware. I'm going to start off with the eight inch strip, and all you're going to do is take your square, one of your square rings, slip it on, take your Chicago screw, the front of the Chicago screw, 
you are going to put that through the front of your biotheme strip. So you have the part that folds over, that's going to be your back side, so the opposite side is going to be your front. And take the other side of the shihao screw, just slip it through that hole. You can pinch them together. You can pinch them together. I find it much easier to hold it from where the hardware is. And you can hold the bio theme together. And, um, and then you can just screw it on. Now we still have to put the holes in on this piece so it can slip through the buckle, but we'll do that last. So for the six and a half inch um, strip, I am going to start with the square ring and the D ring. You're gonna first put on your D ring. What you want, you're gonna be working on the side that has the um, two holes at the top. You want to put your D-ring on first and then your square ring. Fold them over and again hold it from where the hardware is and you can start putting the Chicago screws in Same side as what you did before. The folded over side is the back part of the adapter. I do one screw at a time. After you put on your um, two screws, you can clean up your ends a little bit if you want. I do like to try and straighten my ends out if they're crooked at all or anything like that. Now you're going to want to put on your buckle. If you hold your biothene um, facing up and you have your buckle facing up, this part right here is the back part of the buckle. This is where this uh, prong sits down. That's the front side of the buckle. You're gonna go up into this hole right here, and then you're gonna go down through this hole right here. So you can see that there's a bar, and you're pretty much just wrapping the biothene around that bar. So you go up and then back down. And then it looks something like that. You're gonna fold it over, and then put a Chicago screw in the last hole that you have. Putting on this last screw can be a little bit tricky. You're going to want to hold the buckle and the bio theme like tight. And then you're going to just screw on the um, screw. So there's your one side of your adapter, done. And now we will put the holes in for this side of the adapter. Like I said earlier, this punch comes with many different size punches to use. I do only use two um, and I am going to change them out real quick so we can put in the smaller holes. To mark your other side of your adapter for your holes uh, for the buckle, I like to start on the side where the uh, square ring is and I really like to go about three-fourths to an inch from where the biothene ends after it's been folded over. So here's where my bio theme folded over and 
like I said, I like to go to three fourths to an inch um, down from the end right here, the end of the biothene. So this is about three fourths, and I'm going to mark it. And you really want to try and mark the inner side of your biothene. And then I want to go another inch. And then another inch. And then another inch. Now, you can always make your holes closer if you'd like. I usually do it um, an inch apart. We have, I have a mess up here, sorry about that. But we have one side, one side of our adapter, and then we have our other side of our adapter, and we can put them together. So what I do is I will, um, put them together and I like to double check my measurements to make sure that I got it right if I didn't get it right it's not a really big deal if you're like a little bit off um, just make sure that um, when you're making your collar that you measure in how you might be a little bit off from that first hole and when you measure you want to measure from this end to this end And there you have it, there's your adapter. It's all finished and they're really not that hard to make. You just gotta be paying attention to where you put your holes and you don't have to make them the sizes that I make them. Um, I do suggest you, if you are making collars and you're um, making many collars, that you might wanna pick a size to stick with. Uh, I find that easier for me, um, but you can make them in any size that you want. And, um, like I said, they're, they're really not that hard to do once you um, get the hang of it, uh, especially with like holding everything together and then putting the screws in. But other than that, they're fairly easy to make and I will leave all the links to where I get all of my stuff to make them down below for you guys. And I mentioned in the beginning of the video that I wanted to do a giveaway. So for this giveaway to participate, you don't have to do anything except leave a comment in the comment box below um, with maybe your email address or your Instagram, somewhere where I can get in touch with you if I pick you. Um, you do not have to subscribe to my channel. I'm really not comfortable with asking people to subscribe to my channel so you can participate in this. Uh, I like doing giveaways. I have a lot of fun doing giveaways. and. I'm just not comfortable with that. If you guys want to subscribe to my channel, that that's great, that's awesome, but I don't want to make it a requirement. So for this giveaway, I'm going to be giving away a black adapter. And um, it'll come with, it'll, it'll come made for you. So you can do your own pericording collar or whatever you want to do. Um, I thought that that would be kind of fun that I can do the adapter and mail it to you guys. So I will pick one winner and it will be at the end of next month. Um, I'll put the date up here and um, yeah, like I said, you don't have to subscribe or anything like that. If you want to subscribe, awesome but you don't have to. And I will send one black adapter um, to the winner. And um, this is USA only because of shipping costs. It just costs me so much to ship, ship overseas. Even to Canada is just expensive right now. So please, USA only. I do apologize for that. Maybe in the future I'll be able to do giveaways and spread them out worldwide, but I just can't do that right now. So, all right. Um, thank you so much for following along with me today. I I do like making these, um, and oh, you you know one of the favorite things that I do is make collars. So, especially the pericord collars, I just absolutely love making them. And I hope you participate in the giveaway. And until next time, 
be uniquely happy and take care.